Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Athens Christian Reformed Church this morning. It is good to be with you wherever you may be and whenever you watch this video and this playlist. We are continuing our series on the nature and character of God, and today we're going to talk about God's omnipotence, that is, his all-powerfulness. And this is a, another uh, sort of head-scratcher in some ways, but it's good for sure. Just a couple of announcements for you today. One is that I have been given some copies of the next Our Daily Bread, the large print edition. And so if you are in our area and would like one of these devotional booklets, these large print devotional booklets, don't hesitate to drop me a line via my email address and I will be happy to do that or via text message if you have my cell phone number or anything like that. If you are a member of our congregation and you would like uh, me to top, stop by for a physical distancing visit, I can bring one of these along if that is suitable for you. So please feel free to let me know about that, whether you would like to have the Our Daily Bread. Also, I want to take a moment to just just address something that uh, that has happened in our village recently. Yeah, there was, uh, a, as you saw in the news, a uh, probably saw in the news, there was a uh, some racist comments uh, graffitied on a sign at Charleston Lake uh, Provincial Park, uh, and so, yeah, very sad to see that happen. Uh, grieved very much so, uh, but also, uh, yeah, just, I was glad to see the supportive uh, messages uh, for uh, all of our black and brown neighbors, all of those who are of uh, visible minority uh, that were chalked onto the sidewalks and so on in, in town. Uh, it was good to see, it was supportive, and uh, really appreciated that, but just want to encourage all of us to remember uh, that all people are made in God's image. And th there has been, sadly, hundreds of years of varying levels and degrees of oppression uh, put upon various people because of the color of their skin. And uh, now, is, now is not the time to go on with that or just allow it to happen or just sit passively by. Now is, I really believe, an opportunity for us as Christ followers to stand up and repudiate the injustices of the past and to, uh, and to speak out uh, for righting those wrongs and for uh, treating people uh, of all different nationalities and colors and races uh, with the respect that all of God's image bearers uh, deserve. So, I uh, just wanted to share that with you. Um, be aware of that and, uh, and uh, just support, uh, support doing justice in this world, please, prayerfully do so. Then in uh, terms of other announcements, I think that's all I have. Oh, except um, I should let you know that uh, the elders met. Uh, just this past week, for the first time since February, it was good to meet. Uh, we had some discussion about the opening up procedures and, and what was sort of uh, possible and what was not. And uh, we decided for now to encourage executive to continue to think about these issues about reopening and so on. Uh, and so we, we ask your patience uh, as well. We do see a, a number of significant difficulties for, uh, for how we in particular might reopen and reopen safely, but also in a way that honors the, the um, guidelines and the recommendations from our government and from our health authorities. So please 
very much be in prayer for executive as they consider could they continue to uh, wrestle through those things and please again thank you so much for your patience already but please continue that patience now would you brothers and sisters receive god's greeting welcome brothers and sisters into this place where our omnipotent all-powerful god guides all things to the good of those who love him. Welcome. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen.